Hello and welcome to a new week on iRacing. We have Arca at Nashville Super Speedway here. I'm excited to get going. Very fun combo. Love the car, love the track. And hopefully we'll have a great race here in a strong field because this is the very first time slot of the week. We've got ourselves a 4.2k strength of field and uh, we know a bunch of people in this race as you might expect. And uh, I'm going to see what we can do for qualifying. Uh, no what <laughs> Delta bar I want up. I guess not. Green flag, green flag. <laughs> uh, I guess all time optimal. We're not going to be able to reach that though. The track is a little bit slower than it has been in the past. So I don't really expect to be able to uh, hit the 30.2, but we'll try to get as close as we can. That's a new fastest lap for Peace, 30.8. Okay. 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 One more lap. Here's lap one. Hopefully that'll be solid, 30.6. P3, your last lap time was at 30.7. That'd be better, however. Actually, the track feels like it has more grip than it did in practice. Two session optimal, where are we at? About equal to last lap. <sighs> well, we'll be slower the second lap, but that's okay. Seems like that should be solid. 30.6 will be. Right now, P3. Head of Larry Pace, that's always a good thing. Justin in here. As you might might expect. Number seven Adam with the pole right now. I don't recognize the name. But uh, he's making a making a statement with a very fast lap. We'll just ride around a little bit since we got some time. Doesn't matter too much uh, how I can qualify if I can't be be fast longer on. So I did actually practice my race pace a little bit. Got my brake bias all the way back, and you got to slow down a decent bit here at Nashville Super Speedway if you uh, don't want the car to get too tight can be a little tight on entry, that's because you've got to slow it down. It'll get loose on you mid-corner and exit once you do slow it down, so you also have to balance that. It's an interesting uh, interesting track, being that it's just a tiny bit smaller than most intermediates. But I really like it. It, it usually provides some clean racing. I think it's a fun track to drive. Intermediates are my favorite, especially the ones where you have to use a little bit of brake, or at least lift off a bunch, and then fight that looseness, and you've got all of that here. Uh, get that looseness on exit, and you have to get enough uh, on the brakes on entry as well, or else uh, you'll overdrive it, so. Hopefully this will be alright. Getting used to what I'm going to be doing in the race. And, uh, actually, I meant to have my brake bias back in the car as well. I'll make sure that it's back for the race as well. The more you can, uh, rotate with any other means other than the steering wheel, the better. So yeah, I gave a, a good luck to Jacob hitting the turn. He has his own YouTube channel. Oh, hey, we're ready. Sweet. So we got P3. There is the field here. Just tons and tons of names. It would take me all day. I'd miss the grid if I had to name all the people I know. <laughs> I guess eventually that happens if you uh, race certain series enough. Making sure that wasn't muted. Session last lap. And, uh, hey, let's just try for a top 10. I think we're in a great spot to uh, hopefully be able to pull that off. Top 
Do, do. I got 22 cars out here. And uh, a strong field, like I said. Um, race Lab 4.2k strength of field, it says. So, just the top 10. I think uh, would be fine. But we'll get as much as we can get. A couple names I don't recognize, actually. I don't recognize... June White, either. Most of the other names uh, I do know, though. Forty laps. Should be enough that you won't want to kill the tires, but... Of course, a standard race distance for Arca. No About a 20-30 minute race. I think is uh, about where we'll be. What was that? Maybe a little shorter than. You got cheating, normal. June. You got a controller. You don't have to hold on bud. Follow car number zero seven in the inside. Uh, I was lane. asking you if uh, you um, were revving your engine there. You are out of Yeah, time. I do it. One to go. Uh, the car the idiot line line up on the inside. I'm the idiot. Road is closed. Hard to tell right now. It might be a second gear start, though. That's what it's kind of looking like. We'll get a great uh, view of the leader for the jump, so that's nice. Yeah, I think it's a second gear start. Should be pretty straightforward, I hope. Not like the Gen 4, where we're going to spin out on throttle. The seven's got like a green screen car. You could put whatever you want in there About and video editing. <laughs> Get ready. The car is off. The pace car is in. He really did like a slow roll. That was interesting. Couldn't tell if he was going or not. Outside. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. All right, P3, I didn't get the best jump, just because I wasn't sure if they were going or not. If I drove that a little bit, I gotta get my bearings. Hopefully be able to do that okay, now. Larry from 6th to 4th in the first lap. Alright. My bad, my bad. Just to maybe tapped him a little bit there. Thankfully, no wreck. These cars can't take much of a tap before things go wrong. That lap felt pretty good. I felt like I could get on my right rear well enough. So that went very sideways enough that the tires smoked. That's probably not too good for him. P3. Try to keep this smooth. So far, so good. actually kind of loose. I wonder if we're going to end up wishing uh, we were less on the right rear. Normally the Arca car can't get on the right rear too easily, so you're kind of just trying your best to rotate the car, but 
Who knows? Everyone kind of equal right now on pace, it looks like. That'll start changing, I think, once uh, tires start wearing out. See uh, who can keep marching, who falls behind. Seven might have gotten a wall there. That was really close. They're kind of pulling away from me. Makes me worry a little bit that I'm not doing as good of a job. Really trying to take a wide entry so that way I could get a good drive off. And it's from that drive off that I think I can get on the right rear just by balancing throttle. Mm, a little bit of apron didn't like that. Just bounced the left side tires on there just a tiny bit. Could have been worse. the apron this time. It's always good. Larry might be catching me. Looks like he uh, gained just a bit. Still very early though. A lot can change. Well, he does catch me. I'm just going to let him go. I don't want to fight side by side. That's not going to help anything. I mean that, of course, if he gets alongside me. He's got to get the run first. But don't want to fight too long side by side or anything. Unless it's like lap 38 or something. Then maybe I'll miss it. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing okay getting the car rotated with the brakes. On entry and then being aggressive with the throttle. That top 10 is looking pretty good right now unless I just absolutely hit a brick wall with my tires. little too low right there. I kind of got to the bottom of the track a little bit too soon. Dustin right, all, right on that 7. Trying to intimidate him maybe. This close racing. Still feels good. Just about the same as what we started with, it feels like. You've just done it, 31.3. Man, it looks like you get so close to him, like mid corner right there. Point six, both in front of and behind me. Going for a pass? The lead? Crossover? Not quite. Not quite able to get to his inside again. 
But we would had a uh, pass for the lead. It's interesting. Gonna be able to catch up to the number seven now. Looks like we're just slowly creeping in. Looks like he kind of let Justin go. I thought maybe he was going to do a crossover, but he might have just backed out. I don't know what's going on in their mind, but... I'm wondering, will we get the go-ahead if we get near him? Or will we have to work for it? So we watch Justin walk off into the distance. Keeping an eye on Larry back there, he's still 0.5 for now. Reminding me of Truck and IS here at Nashville, where it felt like you were just, you could barely make any sort of progress. With very little bits at a time you would gain or lose. And it's hard to get anywhere. Larry looks like he's getting closer. Point three now. That was at the two point six. Just now getting to halfway at the end of this lap. Okay, I kind of feel like maybe I'm the weakest of the top four right now. I haven't really looked at those behind that, but Larry's catching me. Seven ahead of us. Got away just a bit. Justin is leading the darn thing, so he's doing a pretty, pretty fine job. That was a, that's 1.7. Mm, a little too high up the track there. I'm feeling a little bit tight. I have to use some more brake on entry. Did I remember to... Okay, yeah, that's good. I think it carried over from qualifying. Let's check my uh, in-car distance. Really hoping Larry doesn't just dive it in on my inside. Looks like he wants to. You've just done a thirty one point eight. The up times are pretty consistent. It's right there behind us. Car's tight now. I don't know if I did a very good job at this. That 
was uh, that you won't more tight. Might have nearly gotten me there. Please don't run me over. Taking the apron, he is wanting to get around. I'm just gonna keep running my line. If he gets the run on me, you can have it. Nine car getting closer. Sorry, just gotta get. It's all good. Uh, I definitely was too far up that time. I didn't get to the bottom. It's a struggle to try to get this thing rotated through the middle right now. Oh, interesting, the 9 got on the outside of Larry. They could hold each other up for a while, that'd be great. That might be my only chance of holding on to third is if they're side by side for pretty much the rest of this thing. They're working on it. They're still side by side. I'm like stabbing the brake throttle to get this thing rotated mid corner. It's the only way I can really do it right now. Okay. That felt... I had plenty of rotation. I tried to break just that extra little bit there, but... It's slowing me down so much on entry. It's really a balancing act to figure out how much... Break I need to use, and then yeah, that corner was terrible. It kind of hit the apron again. They really are st side by side the whole rest of this race. That's crazy. Pretty much. I said that's what I'd need. I think I uh, might even get it. Get the apron. Crap, I to throw it away though. Being given this gift of them being side by side and I'm trying to drive on the apron. Genius moves. Oh my god, the car's not turning. Watching them kind of drive off into the distance right now. Look at that. No apron that time. It is possible. They have been side by side for like 10 laps now. That is actually crazy. Oh my gosh, they just crashed. Oh no, you hate. That sucks. They're having such a great battle, too. Man, you never want to see that. Is now 1 .1 seconds. 
see what caused it there later, but... I'm only pinched so much, June, whoever you are. Like he says, it was an overpinch. Well, <laughs> I guess we can feel pretty good about third place now. Unless the guy, these guys ahead want to wreck themselves too. But I don't want to wish that on Justin or a uh, green screen guy. <laughs> I don't know him, but <laughs> it seems kind of me just call him green screen. <laughs> Interestingly, that 9 is still going. Larry must have gotten the worst of it. Man, I might actually be good at this if I could save tires. <laughs> Just watching these guys drive away. Guess we gotta hold on to P3 still, though. With the 8 back there. But he's got a, a long way to climb. Two seconds, but... A lot to do, and uh, what we got coming to three to go. Hey, Shane, I see Shane on the relative having a great run. They're still kind of close up there. No one's really run away with it necessarily between the two of them, but... Oh, it wants to go. I'm gonna need to not fall apart here. The gap behind is now 1.7. does help out not to have to worry about uh, someone behind me. So I can break as much as I think I need to. Without concern. I don't think Larry was ever going to run me over. He's pretty good. good consistency. Keep him coming. But still worry about these things, you know? Especially if, like, I killed my right front and I'm having to break too much. Like, unreasonably so. Then it's kind of... You know, can't be slamming on the brakes either. Middle of the corner. Then it would kind of be on me. See if a uh, green car does go go gadget slide job or something. We'll have to win, but I don't think so. I think Justin's got it. And we'll get a P3, which I am thrilled about. That's where we started, too, I believe. Good race. Good win, Justin. Good race, Todd. I'm out on the podium. Good drive. There's the flag. It's over. Right. Nice, uh, nice win, Justin. Nice win. Nice run. Solid work. Great race right there, David. Great Happy job with that. that. That was awesome. Love Nashville Super Speedway. Yeah, Fun track. Kevin. I have no freaking clue how the hell I did that with the crinkled right front and spent tires, but I appreciate that. That was some really I don't good know race. It's a start and just then, too. I'm just driving. And yeah, that's absolutely guess. sick, man. Great job. Yeah, I'd be on my toes. I was just like, oh god, he's just keep freezing, just keep freezing back there. <laughs> I might have a shot at this, lo and behold. 62, 60, ooh, look at me. I'm sharing that. I've done this much fun in quite some time. <laughs> and yet I still fell off from well, Justin. We and got, we got an echo that's pretty hard there. Uh, I think green we would have been fine. What did other people get? 60, yeah, 75. Happened, Look at that, 77, 79. That's pretty good. That close, Austin got it on the right yeah. rear. That's pretty That's awesome. Right I bet he moved forward this race. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't think he like, I wonder if he got into trouble. I, I, I would have expected with we tires like that, like, he would be a there, great long run, but yeah. he might have run into trouble or something. Yeah, we we'll battled like that, man. We battled like a whole race. 
Justin, yeah, 68, I, I 64. I was hoping to see what I was going to be able to do. I was trying to save a little bit, but I think I'm still in my right rear. I don't think I was going to be able to get back around there. That was fun racing with Larry you. Larry says it meant to hit Yeah, it was good him. Racing. I hate that happened to us, but it happened. Russ, I got to ask, were you on the brakes after that when you were backwards? Yeah. Oh, they're going to argue in the in the chat. If I was on the brakes, if I were we will All see right. what happened out here. I, I ran out of room on the bottom trying to get by the mess. Yeah, I always try to lock it down. Alright, lap three. Oh, is this maybe what happened to Austin? Ooh, wall hit. That probably didn't help. That might have been what got him. Dowski even got a little bit of wall there. You don't see that very often. Sticks. Gets a nice chunk of it. Woo! Almost down into Jacob, too. How did he do? Hey, top 10. Uh oh, something happened here. That is Jordan. Guy uh, just kind of drifts up into him. Yeah, that's a little bit of net code too. But really. Yeah, Larry's mad. <laughs> you gotta hold your brakes there too for the 10. He's not holding his brakes and then it comes over and gets the 19. Maybe he was. Maybe he uh, had no control over it. That's unfortunate. That was a, a mess up there. Mm. That is the contentious moment here. Let's see. Yeah, that's tough, man. That is like, that's just super close racing. He's definitely pinching him a whole lot, but. Hmm. I don't know, man. It looks like that shouldn't have happened, like. I don't know. That's a weird one. I mean, he definitely didn't give much room, but like, it's it's just really hard racing. It, it sucks that that happened. Maybe the maybe the moral of the story is uh, someone can, needs to concede eventually. I don't know. Look how long they were side by side. That's crazy. I mean, the nine catches Larry from pretty far back, but it's kind of because of me, because I was slowing, oh, excuse me, I was slowing Larry up. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe Larry should have just let him go by if he was faster. I don't know, I think that's just a racing incident, really. I'm only talking about it so much because they were so mad about it. But clearly it was an accident. I don't think... Uh... It was that bad. Just It sucks, of course. Anyway, that was the last, uh, the last thing to see. Justin gets the win. And we'll get P3 as the number 5. Very happy with that. Great day at the track. So, uh, and a nice start to the week. That'll do it for this one. Appreciate you for watching. And uh, I will see you soon. Or whatever comes next. Hopefully some good stuff to race this week. See you there.